What's going on? We're back for another amazing episode of the Innovator Hour, man. And I got some very special guests in the building, man. Bay Area, man. I got Los Rockets in the building, man. What's going on? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. Glad to be here. Yeah, man. How you doing? How y'all doing? We blessed. We just um just came out the studio. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, we just been working. You know what I mean? Just grinding. All right. Just grinding. Off tops. First, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have y'all here. And I appreciate y'all for coming through today. For, nah, sure. for real. Thank for you, man. Thank you for having us, man. Thank nah, you for sharing your platform, for real. Off tops. Can we start off, uh, before we start off, can you guys let the people know what's your social media so they can follow you? Uh, at Los Racas. <laughs> Racas with a K, L-O-S-R-A-K-A-S. Uh, and that's all over every digital platform. Just type Los Racas everywhere and you can see us. Nah, for sure. Let's do it. So, y'all are cousins, correct? Yes, sir. And... How did y'all meet? Because I, I read that y'all met as teenagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, how was it that y'all met? When he came from Panama. Okay. So um, you was already in the Bay? I was already, yeah. Rocket Rich was already in the Bay. Yeah. Rocket Don moved from Panama. Yeah. At, how old were you when you moved? I was 14. Okay. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's not a lot of us from Panama here. So, you know, we were very we were a small family. Yeah. And... uh you know, we, we were, another cousin was coming in, so we were everybody was juiced. You know, yeah, like, we, <laughs> like more of us is, is you know, the, the squad is getting bigger. Yeah, yeah. and y'all and you y'all was in Oakland. Yeah, we was in Oakland. Okay, <laughs> right there on, on uh, by uh, Ben's Burger. Oh yeah, off top. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oakland that, High, Oakland High. That's hella funny. <laughs> that's that's super. With, uh, with John Gelly, John really? Gelly uh, was in Oakland High. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So whose idea was it to create the group? It was the people. Yeah, it was the people, man. Cause um, but I already, I already had in mind like being in duo with him. You know, really? you know what I mean? Because yeah. when I first got here, I wasn't rapping. You feel me? He yeah. was rapping. Okay. And then we lost contact for a few months or a, a year or something. Really? And then I started rapping, and I was like, <laughs> I was telling my other cousin, like, yeah. "Hey, man, you think you think Rico going?" <laughs> go fuck, fuck with, can I, can yeah, I, you can cuss, you can cuss. I was like, you think Rico gonna fuck with me and shit? He's like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him know. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. And then we, I ran into him again on, uh, during the carnival, San Francisco carnival. Yeah. Oh, I've been to that it's super lit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, hey, I'm performing and shit. You know, I may come through. He's yeah. like, oh, you performing? <laughs> yeah, I was just, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. <laughs> That's hella lit. Nah, yeah, no, nah, because we were doing. I remember. I remember when when we first started teasing it, right? Yeah. Uh, we, were, it was the whole online battling. I don't know if you remember. Like you used to do like online battling with people. Like it was like yeah. websites where you do some online. So um, I would be rapping in English, battling people, and then he didn't speak no English. Yeah. So he had MC Panama, and we were just laughing at him because we were like, bro, you got to be able to speak English. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody going to understand yeah, you on like, the bottom. <laughs> 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 so, you know, seeing him late, like years after, and then um, it, it was tight, man, because it's like, all right, that's dope, you know? No, that's how it lit. And I think it's uh, it's even cooler that y'all are cousins because I, I yeah. believe in keeping everything in the family. So yeah. it's dope uh, that y'all working together and that y'all made it crack like this. Um, so why the name Los Racas? Uh, the name Los Racas, it was like we were picking names, right? Like we got a show in LA. Yeah. They were like, um, we want you guys to come perform, but we want you guys as a duo. Because, okay. you know, we were like Y'all accept Rico, Rico and Panama. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, yeah, but we want we want you guys as a duo. Yeah. So we were driving on the five. On a, you know that five is yeah, a long to come down. drive. It's a hell of a <laughs> we were in a bucket too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then and then uh, we were like, hey man, you know what I mean? What's what's gonna be the name of the duo, man? Yeah. And we started starting throwing names out there, and then Rico was like Los Racas, and he started laughing. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, nah, nah, that's it. <laughs> he was it's like, yeah, that's like, the name. He's like, nah, nah, you sure? I was like, are you sure, man? Because I'm like, people might, that might be too scary for people. Because, yeah. you know, Raka in, in Panama was like a, uh, it's like a rebel, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So, so we were like, you know, I was, I was kind of like, I liked it, but then I was like, people might, it's, it might be too scary for people. And yeah. then it was like, nah, we can. We're gonna change the, the yeah. definition. Okay. Yeah, because racas, racas is in Panama. Um, it's on, it's a word that is only said in Panama. Okay. So I was yeah, like, yeah. so I was like, 
when people hear it, they're automatically going to know that we are from Panama. Yeah, which was which which was what y'all wanted for yeah, sure. Yeah, and yeah. then you know just to show everybody that everything from the hood is not is not bad, it's not negative. You know what I mean? Just because you're from the hood doesn't mean you, you can be a, a man of business or you of know course, what I mean? Of course, become better things. Nah, that's why I, I fuck with y'all heavy because it's like. I come, we, I mean, we come from the same environment. We already know where we come from, but that doesn't define us as like being that we're hood and we can't be, wear suits and be businessmen and accomplish yeah. like great things, you know? Yeah. So I think that's dope. Do you, do y'all remember the first song that y'all made together? Yeah, it was called uh, Bounce. 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 Okay, see, that's the uh, first ooh, record ooh, by y'all that ooh. I heard. For real? <laughs> make it count, make it count, make it count. That was the first record that I heard. It was like 06. Really, my big cousin put me on. When I was young, he was like, this is group, Los Rockets out the bay. He was like, check this shit out. And I'm like, at the time, I'm a kid. Like, I don't. Yeah. But it's just, it's dope to see it, like, come full circle and then to be sitting with, with y'all here today. Yeah. Because uh, y'all came out with the the Pan of Bay tapes, the little projects yeah, y'all was yeah, coming out. Yeah, yeah. It's coming out with a bunch of mixtapes. Yeah. 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 So the Pan of Bay projects, what what was, uh, whose idea was it to come out with that? We were just working. We were just working on songs and stuff. Uh, I had... You had a bunch of dancehall beats? Yeah, it was like a uh, this DJ named DJ Electro. He's a Panamanian DJ in the Bay yeah. Area. He's a, one of the OGs. Yeah. He had uh, given my dad a CD full of like um, dancehall tracks. So we were like, boom. That was like the first CD that we had, like mixtape. Yeah, because um, we, I was recording with Youth uh, YMR. Okay. Youth Movement Records. Yeah, yeah, So we were we had studio, you know what I mean? And I told Rico, like, let's come, come record over there, you yeah. feel me? And so we were working on a few songs, and then we were like, let's just come out with a mixtape, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, let's go. Because the youth organization only used to do compilations, you feel me? Like a bunch of youth, you know, in one album. Yeah. But we gave him the idea to be, like, the first group that do this came out with a solo album, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So we sit down and they're like, okay, for sure, we're going we gon we gonna highlight whatever whoever. Yeah. And we're gonna see if it's good. Yeah, right. we were like, and we're gonna do it with a we wanna do it with a DVD so people can understand how we coming, you know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, was, a DVD and like like a we movie? had a mixtape. We had a mixtape with a DVD like a like a documentary a, explaining. Oh, that's hella lit. That's yeah, hella tight. Yeah, that's hella yeah. tight. So it was like a double it was like a double thing. No, yeah. that I think that I think that's dope and I think that was good because it's like Y'all are representing like Panama, y'all Panamanian. So then y'all had, and then y'all from the Bay. So it's like y'all yeah. are putting two cultures together, and that resonates with me a lot because I'm Haitian. So growing up in the Bay and being Haitian, it's not a lot of us. And then when people meet me, they're like, "Well, you're the only Haitian person I know." So it's right, like right. I feel that y'all, it's like y'all got to represent Panama in the Bay, and like y'all did, and y'all yeah. still doing it right now. And I think that's dope. Yeah. Um, I want to ask y'all. What is your process like for selecting beats and working on lyrics for your songs? It's just natural, man. It just come natural. It's not something that's premeditated. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like uh, a lot of times the producer will be like, man, I got the perfect beat for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and that one, that, that beat don't end up being the one that so we like, use. Oh, you I got, oh, I got one for y'all. Oh, wait till y'all the one I got, you You know what I mean? that be the one. <laughs> Ever so we be like play or something you you don't think we will happen yeah you know okay. what I mean <laughs> so like you know what I mean so that's pretty much how the process is you yeah. know what I mean it's whatever yeah, yeah whatever, whatever the vibe is right then and then like like just play whatever like usually what we do right is like we get in there and then we just start freestyling over all kind of beats yeah and then whatever sticks you know we come, yeah, we come back lit. and listen to it we come back and listen and be like. Ooh, that's solid. Like, yeah. oh, that was garbage. <laughs> Throw that one away. Like, you know. It keeps it fun. It keeps it fresh for y'all. It keeps it fun. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 that's how we started, bro. We yeah. had like um like 15 kids in the studio and everybody had to earn their position. So you yeah. had to like really, you know, just throw it all, throw it all out there and yeah. you know. Nah, that's just, dope. Yeah. That's hella dope. So, let's talk about the tracks y'all released recently. So, the first one I want to talk about is Yo Tabby In. Yeah, I love the vibe of the record. Um, I didn't pay the most attention in Spanish class, and I want to <laughs> know wh what are y'all talking about in there. I love the video, I love everything about it, but I want to know. I know uh, Yo Tabi In means uh, me too. Yeah, but what are y'all talking about in there? Just so everyone can know. Man, Yo Tabi is just it's just a brago, bragalicious. 
you know, braggadocious. I mean, <laughs> braggadocious uh, uh, type of record, man, where we just in there talking our shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you said that like, you you this, but we've been doing that yeah. type, type <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the hip hop. It's like on some hip hop. We just, yeah. we got real lyrical. And also we were like, the vibe that we were going for was like, you know, kind of like the trap, but mixed with like the Bone Thugs and Harmony, but yeah. in Spanish. Yeah. With, with, you know, it's just, it's just, a, it's, it's weird because we don't really try to do it like that, man. It just yeah. comes out like that. Yeah, you now that shit was hard. I liked it a lot. Yeah. And then uh, Rock and Rich, I noticed that um, it was it was dope uh, for me in the video because you were rocking an SOB RV hoodie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you switched to the poncho, and I was like, damn, that shit is yeah, elevated. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it, just, uh, it just opened my eyes. Like, y'all is like, y'all really putting on for the Bay culture still and still representing Panama. So it's dope to, like, see how y'all collaborate and mix that all together. Yeah. I think that's dope. I mean, yeah, that's just part of us, man. Being Panamanian and, and being from Oakland, you know yeah. what I mean? Being from Oakland, they taught us to be proud of who we were, you know what I mean? Of course. Being with, of the, course. with the Black Panthers and, yeah. and all of that in our culture and stuff, you know? And, um, you know, like and we to got. embrace so, other people's culture too, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Mexican culture, you yeah. know what I mean? We got all kind of culture in the yeah. Bay Area, you know of what I mean? Filipinos. Yeah, it's, Bay Area is a, is a melting pot of everybody in the. Um, we all know it's a great place to live and grow up, for real. Like, yeah, because, like, you know, like, the, the real OGs from the Bay really embraced us. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. R.I.P., the Jacka. Yeah. You know, E-40. Yeah. Jay Styling. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were we used to be in the studio with Phil DeRidge, yeah. with uh, uh, Stevie Man. Joe. Yeah. Kaz Kaiser. Yeah, y'all have worked with, like, a list of all Bay Area legends. Yeah. Like, Hustler. Y'all are the shit. Like, yeah, um, right around. Right low. <laughs> yeah. Y'all been in the game for a minute, man. Like for real, and it, it's yeah. dope. It's really dope, and I, I, it's really special for me to have y'all here today, bro. For man, real. Thank, thank you, bro. Nah, definitely. We just working, bro. You just trying to get the, you know, let the people know what we've been doing, and we, uh, big part of it is just representing uh, Afro Latino culture, meaning Black culture, because a lot of people don't, you know, a lot of Black people out here, especially in Cali, don't really know that there's Black people out there doing the same thing in other countries, you know, of representing the culture. And, and 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 we just want people to know, man, that this is where it comes from. It comes from 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 your culture as well. It yeah. comes from Black culture. Yeah. And um, to pay homage to all those people that came before us, you know. Yeah. And just to get let people know what we're doing, man. We've been putting in work for about twelve years. I know. <laughs> and it's real. It's authentic. You know what I mean? And it's is uh, um, we got some more heat coming. Yeah, 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 definitely. Hell yeah. And, and it's like <laughs> we went from we went from being kids to to men in the business and now we 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 veterans you know what i mean we're not yeah. rookies anymore and and i think like this is this next project that we finna drop is really the first project where we really have full creative control okay and we know what we're doing now yeah. like all the other stuff that we put out before is like mixtapes yeah and then like um our first project that we really put out that said that we sat down with a label and did was nominated for a grammy yeah and we didn't have full creative control on that yeah but now we have full creative control. Sorry. And now we understand the, the business a little bit better. We know we understand uh, our voices and how we want to sound and what we want to put out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now that's dope. Um, I think, first of all, congrats. Y'all were nominated from the Grammy. And I think that's huge. So congrats still. I know right. that was like uh, 2016. Yeah. Um, 2017. 2017. 2017. Grammy's yeah. here. Congrats on that. that Thank shit, you, man. Thank that you. shit's big. Like. That's something I know y'all never forget. Like that shit was lit. Yeah, but I yeah. think it's dope that y'all have full control on this uh, new project and people can see what y'all create uh, from scratch in y'all minds and what y'all want to put together and what sounds good to y'all. I think that's big and I think that's important with music because it makes it fun and it makes y'all want to put out the best shit y'all can put yeah. out. You feel me? Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like um, for us, it's like it's art. It's like this project is more like a painting. You know? Yeah. It's um, uh, it shows the different side of Los Racas, the versatility, what we've been doing for a very long time. And uh, I think people really going, they really going to feel this album, man. I think this is our best project yet. You know what I mean? What's the name of the project? Mine is the Negocio. And it means men of business. I like that. Yeah, M-O-B. Yeah. You know what I mean? Off tops. Well, when is that coming out? Soon, man. We don't, we don't we got, got a date. date yet. <laughs> we don't got a date while it's coming out soon, man. Like you said, man, like on that project, we got, you got every rocker style. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, when they ask us, what kind of music you do? Yeah. When it's just rocker music. Rocker you know what music, I mean? rocker style. Go, when, you, when, the, when you hear this album, you're going to see like, oh man, they, 
they do everything, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? We can put them in the box, yeah. you know? Of times. The That's style of music that we've been doing for like 10 years, they not now finally catching on, like everybody's doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like the, the, the public, it's gonna accept that it's not it's not it's not taboo no more. Yeah, yeah I feel like I, mean? okay, yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like before it was like because I remember we hear this comparison a lot. A lot of people like, ah, oh, but you singing, you can't be a rapper and be singing. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's how we started because we grew up also we grew up in Panama listening to artists in Panama, and in Panama the artists would rap and they would sing. Yeah, so they would do a song for the girls and they do song for the streets. You know, yeah. which is dope. And and people embraced it the same way. It wasn't like, oh nah, you can't sing. You, if you sing it to the girls, you can't sing to the fellas. Like, man, yeah. what? you know, <laughs> like, all of these rules and all these rules. <laughs> every, they just be making too many rules out here that don't make no sense. You know yeah. what I mean? So we just kept doing what we were doing, man, and just keeping it authentic. And now it's became a trend, and um, you know, we we're glad to be the pioneers of it. But we, you know, we just still pushing and uh, getting the getting the music out there, man, so people could. You know, see where the game is going now. Like, yeah. cause you know, we we keep bringing that that we 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 stay a little bit ahead of the game. So what we doing now is just we bring you the next wave. You feel me? Of course. Nah, that's gonna be dope. I can't wait to hear it, man. And y'all gonna have to come back, and we gonna have to uh, <laughs> play the whole shit through. Yeah, oh, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. I want to talk about. I think it's the record y'all released most recently. It's called a Centurita. Yeah, which means waste. And yeah. when I listened to the record once again, I, I I didn't necessarily understand every word, but I, when I heard the song, I I started dancing. <laughs> <laughs> the song made me want to dance, and I love the record. Um, yeah, right on, man. So, what what, y'all, what is what is y'all go with that record? Y'all trying to get that in the clubs? Like, what we what we trying to do? Man, Cinturita is definitely a club banger. Nah, man. for sure, for sure, like, definitely a club banger, it. man. You know, when we made that uh, that song, man, we just just it was a vibe in the studio. Yeah, we were drinking, we were smoking. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like it's just good vibe, man. Yeah, so, dude, so when the like, people when people hear it, yeah, they dude, can dance. Dude, dude was like, "Yo, what's up?" You know. Cause if if you really follow our careers, man, we've been we've been murdering mixtape beats yeah. for a long time. Our times. We'll grab somebody's song and then make it our song. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you know, for example, Abraza, man, when we did uh um the We then Rackers. When we did uh, uh the How to Love, the yeah. Lil Wayne and then, so we got a long history of that, right? So doing we were in the studio and we that's just like kinda like how we how we it's kinda like we get our reps up, we go to the gym and, and we practice, right? Yeah. He's like, yo, let's let's do the taki taki thing, right? So, yeah. so we were like, all right, let's get in there, and then we just start freestyling, man, and that's what came out. Like real yeah. talk, like you know, we we're freestyling it, and, and it's just the vibe, and then you know, we just decided to call it the the rakataki version, you know, yeah. and just get put it out for the people for free, and it's more like just to show you, man, like you know, don't sleep on us, man. Off top, you know, <laughs> like why y'all, why, like yeah. hey, it's like this, it's like why y'all keep sleeping on us, yeah. No, like what? They like like a, a nomination? A nomination still not good enough for y'all? Yeah. Like <laughs> we've been doing this for how long now, and y'all still not giving us our props? Yeah, you know. So it was like, look, we're going. This is this is the hottest artist right, out right now, yeah. and this is the hottest song right now. Yeah, we're gonna come and show you how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna put the little street, the the we give it a little twist. You yeah. feel me? Keep it street. Keep it you know authentic. You know what I mean? Make it your and own. no dis no disrespect to what they're doing because yeah. it was tight. Of course. But we just want to show y'all, man, stop sleeping on us. Because every time y'all sleep on us, we're going to get on there and we're going to gas your beat. Yeah. <laughs> they got to pay we'll, homage, man, right yeah, now, man. ASAP. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. How, how long ASAP. we been doing this for? <laughs> years, man, years. <laughs> uh, I want to ask y'all, when people listen to y'all music, what is it that you want them to feel? Just good, man. Just like when you listen to it, like a Bob Marley song or, yeah. or a Michael Jackson song. Yeah. A Prince song, a Selena song, you know what I mean? Like yeah. when you, we want you to when when you hear a Raka song thirty years from now, it'd be like, ooh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, times. You know, well, it's, it's not certain songs that that were hot probably in two thousand and five, and you hear them, and it's like, damn, I used to like that song, I don't like it no more. Yeah. But it's songs that you hear from the eighties, yeah, you be like, still that you hit. It's still hit. You feel me? Ooh. Like. That's the type of feel we want. Yeah. We want people to get when when they hear Raka song. Yeah, for them to know that it was real. Yeah, like even even the songs that they thought wasn't real were real because like we do it because we love it. You know what I mean? And what's wrong with trying different things? You know Not what that. I mean? And and trying to reach other obstacles. You know, we've been rapping for a long time. We've been mixing it up for a long time. So it's just like we're just gonna keep wanting to evolve naturally. You know what I mean? And just so people to know, man, like. Even the songs you thought like, oh man, I like them more when they rap. 
you know, or I like them more when they sing. We was in the same vibe. Like, what made you think we stopped rapping or we stopped singing? Like, yeah. we still doing it. We we haven't stopped doing what we doing. We exactly. haven't changed the formula. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, what I mean? we're going to go anywhere. We're going to step in any studio and we're going to come out with a hit every time. Of times. Any style. Y'all been doing that for years, so I don't, I don't know how they could expect anything less. <laughs> right on, right on. Um, I want to ask y'all, I know y'all talked about the new project coming out, but what, what else is next for y'all? Can we expect new videos? Can we expect some concerts? What y'all got coming up next? Yeah, we work on a few videos. Okay. We work on a few videos. Um, what else we working on? Man, we working on... Working on a lot of things, man. You yeah. know, this this new project. We're really trying to focus everything around the new project. And um, that's how we're going to execute it, really. Because this project, we got a lot of good records with a lot of dope people, yeah. dope artists. That's you know dope. what I mean? Yeah. And um, so we we feel really, 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 um, really confident. But we just... We've been we've been sitting down and trying to figure out what songs are we going to do video for, and it, it, it feels like we want to do a song to every, I mean, a video to every song, you know. What I mean? So it's really hard to really to just like pinpoint exactly what we finna do with it because um we just keeping it organic, man. Yeah. We you might know? have to just do a short film, man. Yeah, you know hey, I mean? that would be dope. I say do another one. Let me get in it too, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, it's good, good. Yeah, it's good, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I want to ask y'all. What is y'all favorite Panamanian food? If I was to go get a dish, what would y'all suggest for me to get? I mean, like, for me, like, for me, it's this dish that like my mom cooks. You know what I mean? It's okay. like baked, baked chicken. Okay. <laughs> I love chicken, Just man. Baked you know? chicken? <laughs> it's baked chicken. It's baked chicken with coconut rice. Coconut rice. Coconut rice. Coconut rice is fire. Yes, it is. Yeah. With coconut rice, um, she got the uh, the papa ensalada de papa potato salad. The potato salad okay. with eggs on it. Yeah. In it. Yeah. In a in a in a lemonade. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's, nah, that's what I'm saying. Fire. You know it, what I mean? Is coconut rice like popular in Panama? Yeah, 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 okay. definitely. definitely. Okay. I think yeah, it's yeah. Jamaican. You know okay. what I mean? It's, I think it's Jamaican. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like the whole seafood thing. I think Panamanians get down when it comes to seafood. You okay. Know? I, um, some people might disagree or get mad, but ceviche started in Panama. <laughs> 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 so you already know we bringing the flavor, man. You know what I mean? No, tops. I like to ask this, ask this question to everyone who comes on the show. If y'all could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? Like a lion. <laughs> lion? Yeah, lion. <laughs> For real. Rocker Dawn says lion. How about you, Rocker Rich? Mm, I'll probably... Mm, I, I don't know. I don't, maybe like an eagle or something. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Nah, I feel like lion and eagle are two of the uh, ones I get the most. People say lion because they, they're they like lions are like, of course, respected <laughs> in the jungle. Yeah. And then people usually pick eagle or any type of bird because they get the, they have the freedom everything. to travel and see everything. So that's dope. And fly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course, yeah. fly. Yeah. <laughs> what is something that most people don't know about y'all? Um, That I'm an OG. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, Y'all know? Yeah, I don't know that. You know, some people think some people some people know me as being hella serious, and some the people who really know me know I'm a, I'm a goofball. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people don't know that side of me. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe that we play sports too. We get down. What What do y'all play? Good, good, you know, soccer. Okay. Play basketball. Okay. Y'all be balling. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He he be balling more on the, on, on um, basketball and stuff. Okay, I man, you know, I just think people need to stop underestimating. Us. <laughs> Off tops, <laughs> they gotta stop sleeping on those rockers right now, yeah, man. They've been like, going crazy. If you listen and you didn't know that, you tripping. <laughs> it's like, man, like, and, and and the thing about it is that we're proud to rep, represent the Bay Area because you know it's a lot of people that came before us. You know, like Santana and them, they did it in their generation. We're the new generation of, of you know, the urban side of the whole music game right now. So we're like pioneering something. We're doing something different. And we're proud to rep the Bay because it's, we're the first artists to do that from the Bay right now in this, this time, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, we just, the reason why we say that is so y'all don't forget that. People don't forget, like, 
Los Rockers been out here. They've been doing this. You know, we should we should think about them when we when we, when we speak about Bay Area music. Yeah, you know, of course, because our sound is authentic. You know, even though we represent Panama, it's this it's not just Panamanian music. You know yeah. what I mean? No, it's something new. It's it's a whole vibe. It it's is, a whole wave. For we sure. were we were we were part of the hyphy movement. That's what I'm saying. People we were really <laughs> we were really in the side shows. I know that's the and that's the crazy thing. Even if uh, for me, when talking to Brando to bring y'all through, I'm like, yeah. pe- I don't think people really realize yeah. like they've been in the shit like for Come years. On, wait, wait, we people were, don't even realize. We, were, we man, we you know we performed all over the Bay Area and all the ghettos everywhere. You know we. In Spanish, though. In Spanish. Yeah, people was fucking with it. Like, yeah, yeah. Going, so, y'all was going crazy. You know, we've been putting in for a long time, man, and um, we represent it because we know, you know, it, what it means to us. Of course. You know, it, it made us who we are. It made us different. It made us special. So we're always going to rep it, but, you know, think about us when y'all think about mentioning, like, you know, the top Bay Area artists. Of course. Representing right. from the Bay. Off Even top. though it's in Spanish. Like, yo, you know, like, those rockas. Yeah, off tops, not. Nah. Hey, y'all definitely, I've been on y'all music since I was a kid, and it's a, uh, anyone who's sleeping on y'all, they tripping, because y'all yeah. been going crazy, y'all been representing the Bay and putting on, and I think everyone should know, that's why, I, when I had the opportunity to to come bring y'all on my platform, I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it, because I've been fucking with them. Thank like, y'all, right man, on, brother. Thank you, for real. Um, I want to ask y'all, because like we know, y'all have been making music for years, what do you think has changed the most in your music over the years? I don't know, like, we 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 be more careful on the lyrics now. Okay. On the lyrics, we pay more attention. We like, back in the days, we didn't... Some songs, we like, the lyrics don't make sense with the hook. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they... You know what I mean? Yeah, you, just, you, just, you just evolve with time. I think, like, yeah. back then, we were more wild and we say more crazy things because we were younger. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, now I, I got a kid, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You're you know, a father. Yeah, I'm a father, so, yeah. you know... The, Certain things I'm not gonna say like how I was saying it before because I'm like nah that now that I think about it I don't want him thinking this is cool you know what I mean yeah no I get that so not only that like I feel like um, melodically I feel like our voices have changed I think we know what we're doing now we sound like pros we veterans you know what I mean yeah um just um just bringing a whole different you know just bringing a whole different style man I think it's like now that it now it's catching wave and something that started in the Bay Area, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like you hear the Bay, uh, Despacito, that, yeah. that kind of style, man. We yeah. started that. No, nah, tops. No, nah, definitely. You know, nah. like, and that's real talk, man. Like, and ain't nothing wrong with you know them getting inspired off of it. It's not. That's not. That's not what it is. It's just like yo, the Bay Area just brings a lot of different things and a lot of dope music. You know yeah. what I mean? No, nah, definitely. Um. For my final question, I want to ask y'all, what advice could y'all give to younger artists that are trying to get into the music game and and make it happen like y'all did? Just go hard, you know what I mean? You got to go hard and you really have got to have a passion for this. Yeah. Because if you're doing it for the groupies or you're doing it for the money, you're going to get mad because <laughs> this take a lot, a yeah. lot of time and a lot of effort, you yeah. know what I mean, in a lot of time. You know, so if you're passionate about it, you just gonna go to a wheel fall off. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just gotta be passionate about it. This true, and yeah. if it, if it's not music, whatever, and whatever you do, you gotta be passionate about it and and work hard at it, and you're gonna succeed eventually. Nah, definitely. Straight up, exactly what that brother said, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Be stubborn about it. Yeah. Yeah. Times. And once again, man, can you, before y'all get out of here, can I give the people y'all social media one more time? At Los Racas, L-O-S-R-A-K-A-S. And you don't need Rosetta Stone anymore to learn Spanish. Tap in, you know what I'm saying? We're all over the uh, digital platforms. Check out our music, you know what I mean? Check out the videos just to, so you can catch our vibes, see how we moving. And I guarantee you're going to feel it, you know what I mean? Up top, y'all got me uh, ready to go learn some Spanish right now. Cause I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, man, I got to know what they said because I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with it so hard. <laughs> right on, brother. Uh, sure, once man. again, man, I appreciate y'all for coming through today. Los Rockets, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And thank you for having thank us, you, bro. bro. Respect.